In this video, we're going to talk about the best dividend stocks for passive income in 2022. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. One of the simplest ways for investors to generate passive income is through dividend stocks. A portion of the profits that public companies make is diverted and given back to investors in the form of dividends. Investors have the option of keeping their cash or investing it in more shares. Dividend yields can differ significantly between businesses and can change from year to year. Investors who are unsure of which dividend paying stocks to select should stick with those that fall under the category of dividend aristocrats, which means the company has a track record of paying out sizable dividends for at least 25 years. The volatility of the stock market is well known. Additionally, this year has seen a sharp return of the bad days following a scorching 2021. Dividends, however, remain stable while prices fluctuate. Investors looking for the finest dividend companies for passive income are therefore not unexpected. Here are seven dividend stocks that have continued to provide investors with passive income in 2022. Number 7. Walgreens Boots Alliance, WBA. Retail is generally perceived to be a difficult industry. Consumer preferences and fashions change quickly. However, there are specific markets that are more resistant to change, and the pharmacy industry is among the most robust. As the pandemic has shown, a company like Walgreens Boots Alliance, NYSE, WBA, is an essential service at all times. The healthcare industry continues to evolve and some investors are nervous about Walgreens' role in that future. However, for a variety of logistical and regulatory reasons, pharmacy isn't an area particularly well suited to e-commerce. And people like to see a pharmacist when making many important healthcare decisions. Walgreens will likely continue increasing its dividend for investors in the years to come, just as it has done over the past 47. Meanwhile, WBA stock offers an invigorating 4.8% dividend yield. Number 6. ExxonMobil, XOM. ExxonMobil NYSE, XOM, is the largest oil and gas company in North America. It has outperformed its rivals over the decades due to management's discipline and shrewd capital allocation. While other management teams have chased trends and fads, ExxonMobil has stuck to its core strategy. In late 2010, ExxonMobil invested more capital in oil and gas while the industry was in a bust. Analysts decried the move. Fast forward five years and ExxonMobil's new Guyana offshore oil field is an absolute cash flow gusher. The company's refining and chemicals holdings are also offering record profits in the current inflationary environment. ExxonMobil has been paying an increasing dividend for decades now despite various energy busts. The company is second to none in its industry and oil is now in a major new bull market. Number 5. VF Corp, VFC. VF Corp NYSE, VFC, is one of the nation's larger apparel companies, with a focus on outdoor and leisure apparel. The company's unique property is that it operates as a conglomerate. It owns more than a dozen different brands including the likes of Vans, The North Face, Timberland, Dickies, and Jansport. VF has a history of buying brands when they are at a low point and growing and or rehabilitating them. It then sometimes sells or spins them off at far higher valuations once they have picked up steam. Additionally, the collection of different brands and demographics ensures that something is always selling well across the company's ecosystem. VFC stock has dropped by nearly half from its 2021 highs. The usual concerns around inflation, supply chains, and a slowdown in consumer spending apply. However, VF is a dividend aristocrat with a long history of navigating the economic cycle. Meanwhile, the dividend yield on shares is currently 4.3%. Number 4. Federal Realty Investment Trust, FRT. Federal Realty NYSE, FRT, is the longest-running dividend aristocrat within the Real Estate Investment Trust, or REIT, category. Since 1968, they have managed the incredible feat of continually boosting their dividend. This high-end shopping center and mixed-use property owner kept increasing its dividend during the 1970s inflation, the late 1980s savings and loan crisis, the 9-11 attacks, the 2008 property meltdown, and the pandemic. The critics will say that Federal Realty's 54-year streak will come to an end, thanks to e-commerce. But what they're missing is that Federal Realty only owns properties in top-tier markets such as New York, Miami, and Los Angeles. It only owns the top-tier properties in those markets, and it has proactively redeveloped areas to incorporate housing and other mixed-use concepts into its properties. 
it's a cut above the other mall and shopping center players. With the current panic over interest rates and recession, FRT stock has slumped from $140 to $105. As a result of that decline, the dividend on FRT stock is now an enticing 4%. Number 3. Realty Income, O. Oh. Realty Income, NYSE, O, oh, is a leading triple net lease REIT. Triple net leases are attractive because the tenant, not the landlord, pays property tax, maintenance costs, and insurance premiums. This gives the landlord a steadier cash flow picture. Realty income has leveraged this feature to tremendous success over the decades. It obtains capital at a low cost and puts it into triple net lease deals with high quality tenants such as Walgreens. These leases typically go on for a decade or longer, giving realty income an incredibly stable and reliable cash flow stream. The REIT distributes a portion of the cash flow it generates to its investors. Realty income has increased its dividend for more than 25 years in a row. Additionally, its dividend is paid out monthly giving investors an especially welcome income stream. Number 2. Chevron, CVX. Along with ExxonMobil, Chevron, NYSE, CVX, is the other leading dividend champion in the oil and gas space. Chevron was able to keep its dividend growth rolling even during the dog days for the industry between 2014 and 2020. Now, the company's balanced approach to oil and gas is paying off in a big way. In particular, the firm's investments in liquefied natural gas, or LNG, are looking particularly lucrative. With the invasion of Ukraine, gas supplies from Russia are now in serious doubt. This gives Chevron a unique opportunity to meet the moment and help fill the gap in a vital market. The price of CVX stock has gained a significant amount over the course of the past year. Even so, it remains a value. Shares are going for less than 9 times forward earnings and offer a 3.5% dividend yield. Number 1. Amcor, AMCR. Amcor, NYSE, AMCR, is one of the world's leading packaging companies. It makes a vast array of packages for foods, beverages, pharmaceutical products, personal care items and more. Traditionally, the industry has been associated with plastic waste and environmental concerns. However, Amcor has been a leader in using new materials and formats to reduce environmental impact. The company's massive operating scale and innovative product designs have led to decades of industry leadership for Amcor. That has been translated into 38 years of continuous dividend growth for the company. The company's goal is to achieve annualized returns in the double-digit percentage range, taking into account both the growth of its earnings and the dividend. The dividend yield on AMCR stock as of today is a respectable 3.8%. Which of these passive income dividend stocks would you like to add to your investment portfolio? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly investing tips and strategies. Thank you for watching.